Hi, this is Mr. Capert. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to assemble the side of your catapult. This is just an example, so yours will possibly be much different, but this should give you some kind of idea about how to do this. So, first open a new assembly. And then you're going to want to bring in your parts for one of the sides. We're just going to assemble one of the sides. And you're going to go into your H drive. My stuff is not on my H drive. I put it within Capert's trebuchet. And then I'm going to open everything that goes into the side. So that board, for instance, um, if you hold down control, you can select multiple boards at the same time. And you can always come back if there's anything you're missing. The only problem is when you select multiple things, you don't get a preview. So hopefully I brought in all the boards that I need. Left click and then right click. OK. Now the first thing I want to do that's really important is ground this piece, the one that your wheels connect to. So I'm going to do a right click and then ground it. And that makes it so this cannot move at all. Everything will be based upon it. Now the next step is I'm going to put my upright onto here. And I believe I need to check real quick if this goes on top or back behind. First thing I'm going to do is get this upright in place after I've grounded. My upright sits right up on top flush with this piece. Yours may not be that way. It may be back behind. Oh, wrong one. So I want to do constraint. And I'm going to do mate. And like I said, you guys probably have where you're going to mate this up against the front or back of this. Mine, it sits right up on top. So I'm going to mate it down to the top of this board. And then remember, this is 3D, so you need three constraints, three directions. So I've got it in the one direction right now, pinned down. I need to pin it down in this direction as well. And then if you check, this thing still can move because I only did two constraints. And the last one, this is kind of tricky. It took me a while to figure this out. You use flush, which at first doesn't make sense. So I'm going to say it's flush to the end. Now that doesn't look right. You need to do an offset. So if the middle of your catapult is six inches, you do six inches. Oops, I guess I'm going to do negative six. Negative six. And then that would put this uh, edge at the center. You don't want the edge at the center. You want the middle. So that should work like that. Okay, so how many of you guys are going to have positive 6 minus 3 eighths. So try either one of these. So in my case, I got to do negative and plus. It does it, for some reason, sometimes it comes up different ways. So I'm going to double check on that. Yep, that looks centered. It doesn't move at all. This doesn't move at all. Perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do is put this in place. And on mine, that goes up and over top. So constraints, and I'm going to do a mate. And which side you mate on there flips it around. So remember, you don't need to manually orbit any of this stuff. Comply. And then if you did your angles perfect, well, I'll do this one first in case you didn't. Now, this is weird. I learned this a uh, long time ago, is if you want two edges to be up against each other, Use the mate tool. Make sure just the edge is selected. Make sure just the edge. And that'll work like that. And then I believe this still can move. I only did two moves here, right? Yeah. So I also need to say... Trying to remember. Oh! You got to play around with this sometime. I can flush this with the bottom hit apply and now it won't move. Now I need to bring in another one of these boards. I can look and see, okay, this is called board one. So 
I can place another one of those in here. And remember, I'm going to my H drive. If it isn't there, you got to go to your H drive. Now, a lot of times people freak out. This is the wrong way around. Well, you can correct that by telling it to mate this side up against this, and that would cause it to flip, right? And then just like before, I'm going to mate this edge to here. And then the other move I needed to do was a flush. Fly. And then double check you don't want anything to move that's bad if things move okay and then lastly I have this piece here and I'm going to do a mate this up against here notice it's in the wrong spot but we'll fix that and then I'm going to do a flush I'm going to do the same trick I did before with that diagonal and this is actually offset. The bottom should be at six inches. Sometimes it goes the wrong way, so negative six. Apply. And then since I've got my angles perfect, if you didn't get your angles perfect, this, you'll get an error message. This flush to that. If the angle's not perfect, the computer's going to tell you it's impossible to make this flush to this and make the bottom flush. It's gonna say, basically it needs to twist, but you can't twist because you told this to be flush or parallel to that. And then make sure you take a look at this. Notice the whole lines up on these pieces and nothing can move. So you wanna do a save on this. And then you guys wanna to go to your H drive and then into your catapult, and then I would call this trebuchet. DC, that's my name, and assembly. And that should work. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.